What's up guys, thanks for joining for another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, and you know it, Descarender. So, right, it's time for another Pocket Tubing Friday. It's basically, I'm trying to do it like every Friday, you know, having a Pocket Tuber battle. And today is our monthly battle against Jack, or just me, while you guys know him. Um, what to say about his team? When I first just saw this team, I was just like, oh no, this is stalling heaven, like, no. <laughs> I have two wall breakers on my team, but wow, look at this. Togetic, Tentacool, uh, Gorgeist, Severa Strike, which obviously this is the blocker of one kind, Tyrant, and uh, Primeape. So actually, Primeape and Severa Strike are only offensive pokes they got on his team, so I do predict them to be the leads of his team. I myself is using Optimus Prime, Electivire, Slacking, Hypno, Pelipper, and Rhydon. And uh, not much to say about this guy. This team is loosely based on the other one I used, only that uh, they are supposed to die. Like, Slacking's main purpose is to come in, you know, you just do retaliate. Um, slacking is a great wall breaker, very good at pressuring. So I'm going to utilize that. It obviously isn't going to work against the team that Jack is using, because it's such a good defensive core, and I was very, very scared of going into this battle. And in the beginning, I really just hoped I was going to leave with Severa Strike. So I was actually going just right away for Optimus Prime. Just to um, get the defense off. I know it could be especially defensive. Or special attack, I mean. And by that, going for an overheat. But I can easily wall that. So worst case scenario, is going to start off with the Prime Ape. And if it does that, I am actually forced to switch out. Because I can't risk getting a dark attack move against me. Like beat up or payback, something like that. Because I basically can't take it. So anyway, let's actually get to the battle. So right, I actually did the wrong prediction here, because he will actually start off with the Prime Ape here. Like I said, I don't want to take any unnecessary damage right now with Optimus Prime. So I'm just gonna switch out right away and go into Ride On, who I know can wall whatever comes in really. Even if we have gone for um, Ice Punch or anything like that, it wouldn't have done much really. And I really just want to find out the worst choice band or Scarf, but with it that damage, I know that there's most likely Scarf, or it is Scarf, for sure. So actually, I decided to stay in here because I do want to get my rocks up. I don't care too much about uh, getting burned here because I actually know that uh, my Rhydon isn't like that offensively heavy. It's basically based on, or fully ev in HP and um, defense. So I didn't mind it, so Toyotic comes in there. And after the burn, lead seed, and everything that's wearing my right on down, uh, I actually decided to, to go for Dragon Tail here because, or not Dragon Tail, I went for Rock Blast, but he will actually encore me, which forces me to go for Dragon Tail. So now I am completely locked, I can't do anything. And I see no reason to um, sack him a right on like this because I do want the retaliate boost, um, and that means that he actually has to attack me, not that I lose a poke. So with that in mind, uh, I decided to switch out. He will see right through that and know that I'm gonna switch out. And the worst part is, I'm switching out to um, my um, <laughs> Electivire. And since I know it's Scarfed, I know I can't stay in here. And I actually need to risk it and go into Ride On, hoping for him to defeat me. He actually go for a U-turn here, and I was really surprised, but then again, uh, he knew that he was in a very good position, that he really didn't need to uh, switch it out and get out of the way. So, yeah, I actually decided here to sack off my ride on because I know that uh, I have no further use of it. I got my rocks up, so I'm actually really satisfied with that. Plus, wood burn and all, it's it's not worth using. So, I'm, I played really bad with ride on here. I, like I said, I didn't see any further use of him, and I think by that, uh, pretty much just um, sacking it early on. I didn't want to go into my um, um, to my slacking just yet because I know that um, Shadow Claw won't take it out. So I'm just gonna Volt Switch on this one because I did just want to fret him with um, that, or you know, trying to fret him that I had got Flamethrower. And by doing a Volt Switch, I know that next time this guy is going to face off, he's not gonna switch out because that obviously means that I have no <laughs> no um, flame moves, obviously. So then we're gonna bring Electivire Rob back on here. He actually decided to switch out. Not a bad idea at all to with Ladyboy. Ladyboy is probably the worst thing I got up against in some time. Eviolite Tentacruel is a bitch. Now look at this. This is my Volt Switch. Sure, it it seems like it's just a lot of damage, but that is a crit. 
I would roughly done around 40% on it. So I go into my gentle, the <laughs> hypno, my purple hypno. And he doesn't get to showcase too much this game, sadly. Um, because, let's just face it, he got the rapid spin. I did not see that one coming. I actually thought it was in a good position. And send headbutt miss, which means that this tentacruel will live. Oh. And that's really bad too, because Hypno is racking up with the toxic damage. He's got the infestation on this one too, so he can easily wall me out here. So he's going too, too spooky, re spooky. <laughs> And uh, I just decided to switch out there because I can't really be around. Going to Squall here. I think I'm in the range where a Flamethrower will take it out. I know he's gonna stay in this time because he thinks that I am physical at this this moment. Now look at this. I don't kill, but that is beautiful. This thing is a beast to deal with. So I'm pretty much bringing the Free Spooky to a range where I can actually take it out. So I go into side to switch out because I'm pretty sure that he is going to switch out there, not staying in. And I did the right predictions here, and uh, the only bad thing is that Ladyboy comes in. Ladyboy can't protect, so my Shadow Claw won't do. And I am forced to switch out because he can stall me out with Toxic Infestation, Protect, and uh, this is just gonna bring Gentle back on here. I have no like no real usage for uh, my Gentle, because the Toxic will were up here and the Infestation is forcing me to stay in. So I'm just gonna go for a Send Headbutt, I know he's gonna stall me out with Protect. And at least I know that Sen Headbutt will easily kill him because defenses on Tentacruel is fortified base. So with no attack investment, I'm still that is in the range of a 90% hit right there. So you actually decide to sack Free Spooky. You know, I could have missed another Sen Headbutt, sure. That is a real situation. But yeah, I'm really glad that the Gore Guys is out of the way because now I can actually use my uh, Slack King effortlessly because now I don't need to worry about I'm missing uh, any retaliate with the ghost type and being around. So he's going to his uh, cutie pie. Who is sashed? Look, I don't know how this tyrant is working, but he's gonna set up Dragon Dance here and uh, to be honest here, I was scared here. I was really scared because I have nothing that was scarfed on my team. He's going for another Dragon Dance, being somewhat greedy, but then again, that is probably his best move because I have actually no nothing to stop this tyrant. I was hoping with my pellet bird I can take a stone edge. Ish no. <laughs> Not even once. So I'm gonna decide here. You know what? George is in a good range of HP. I can actually take a hit, I guess. He actually missed her. And this is huge. Because I don't think I could have stopped this tyrant after that. If this tyrant would have taken out my um, slacking. I probably would have been in one of the worst positions ever. So, anyway, later boys back on here. I'm going back into Squall. He's going to talk to this Squall, and that is, you know, it is annoying. I do Volt Switch a lot though, so I don't need to worry about it as much. But, you know, he can still go for Protect, stalling me out, and by that, um, you know, getting my toxic damage racked up. And this is a quite a potent strategy, really, for Tentacruel. I like this. I really do, because. I had such a hardship against this guy. There is two decent, fully good hits from Electa Wire there, and uh, you know, it, it was tough. It was real tough. So, anyway, no target tickets here. I can't risk getting paralyzed. So, I'm going into my Electa Wire. He'll actually decide to bat him past here, and he did predict me switching into my Electa Wire, and I really didn't feel that um, I should try to switch out here and just accept my fate. I don't want to uh, switch in either my slacking or my um, <laughs> my uh, Optimus Prime into this. So I'm going back into George here, going for the retaliate. Because I know that was probably the best move for me, taking out end of his bow. Fatality. That is such a strong, crazy move. So he'll go back to his prime up here. Um, he is in no position of using um, close combat because if he decides to do that, then my Golar can come in freely. So he only got the Zebra Strike and um, <laughs> the Primate left. Like I said, it was kind of risky for me to stay in, but I also knew that that was my best way of going, really. So I am actually outspeed the Zebra Strike and finish it off with a Retaliate. So now we only got left the Primate and um, let's just see what happens here. Like I said, he can't go for close combat. But he got the Ice Punch, and he gets frozen, doesn't matter because I'm not Scarfed, so um, he can easily finish me off here, and you know, that sucks, it will do, 
but can Optimus Prime here prevail? That is a big question. And there was actually a part here where he just said GG because he knew he was gonna win. But I got the Drain Punch, bitch! Mm, can you handle this? Can you handle this? Can my beautiful Optimus Prime survive another Ice Punch? Can you? Can you? You can! And this will be GG for, <laughs> for um, Jack here. It was a really, really close game, and I really felt that um, had I not been so um, cold there with uh, my um, <laughs> sl uh, slacking and staying in while he's gone for U turn to Zero Strike, I probably wouldn't have won because a close count would easily take out for slacking. And I do believe Zero Strike in combination with Prime Ape would have been too much for my uh, Gore guys to handle. So, anyway, yeah, Jack, thank you for this game. Really close one, and I did enjoy it a lot here. So anyway, thank you guys for watching, as always, I do like the support, I love it, basically. So don't forget to leave a like, and you know, leave a comment if you have any thoughts on the battle that you want to, you know, emphasize on. And also thank you Jack for both providing me with this quality video, and for this battle. It was a very very good battle, and that tentacle is gonna bring me nightmares for years to come. And, you know, as always, I love battling you, because you always have such a close games, and that slacking, wow. I really felt that uh, that end, uh, end predictions there in, <laughs> of the end of the battle was meaning so much for the whole complete game. And, uh, you know, that battle could have gone either way. I really felt that we both were winners in the end there. So, yeah, that's basically it. Like I said, don't forget to leave a like, guys. And also, going on my... with blah, blah, Barely can speak. Sorry. Uh, I'm going on my vacation here next week. So, I won't upload as much, if even, uh, even at all, actually. But I'll keep you posted on Twitter, and also I'm gonna do another video here about the new Mega Pose. So make sure to check that one out. And other guys, thank you always for watching. All right, guys, take care. Bye.